Chris Eubank Jr. has signed a long-term promotional deal with Sauerland. He said, quote, I'm thrilled to have signed a promotional deal with Team Sauerland. I look forward to working with such a historic stable that has created so many legends in the sport over so many years. I look forward to the big fights that I crave. I've spent the last 12 months in the gym and I feel better than ever. I'm ready to take over the middleweight division. I want all the champions, Murata, Charlo, Andrade, Golovkin. Put me in the ring with any of them. I only want to fight the best. This is my time. If you have a belt, I'm coming for you, end quote. And his new promoter, Nissa Sauerland, who is, I guess it's fair to say, the less awesome <laughs> of the two Sauerland brothers. He said, quote, We've been long-time admirers of Chris. He fought on one of our shows back in 2012 and we've followed his career closely since then. He's got all the attributes needed to establish his position as one of the biggest names in world boxing. Our first priority is cleaning out the middleweight division, end quote. Well, they've only got realistic goals then. <laughs> um, look, Eubank Jr. signing with Sauerland. I guess if you followed the decisions that Team Eubank have made over the years, you can see why they would have done that because they kind of fell out with Eddie Hearn over the whole Golovkin situation. But after that, they were in, or Eubank Jr., of course, fought in the World Boxing Super Series, which Callis Sauerland had a lot of involvement in. And Callis Sauerland spoke in several interviews about working with the Eubanks and he said he found it extremely easy which was contrary to what Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren and many other people said. Now I don't think that Warren, Hearn and so on are necessarily lying or misleading people when they say the Eubanks were very difficult to work with. Maybe it's just a clash of personalities on different wavelengths. Maybe after having issues with Warren and Hearn, Eubank Sr. decided to be more reasonable when dealing with Sowell and for the World Boxing Super Series. Who knows? But yeah, based upon the fact that they've fallen out with Warren, fallen out with Eddie Hearn, but they've worked well with Sowell and before, got a big paycheck out of the World Boxing Super Series, I can see why they'd sign with him now. Now there has been other British fighters, of course, that signed with Sauerland, most notably David Price and George Groves. Groves finished out his career with Sauerland promotions. It's going to be interesting to see where Eubank Jr. gets fights. And I'm not just talking about what country, but on whose shows. Because surely they're not just looking to put him on Sauerland shows. Because Sauerland don't do that many shows anymore. Boxing in Germany, which is where Sauerland do most of their shows, is not anything like it used to be several years ago. So I have to imagine they're going to have Eubank Jr. on other people's shows. And if they're not, then <laughs> this could be an even bigger mistake than signing with PBC Al Heyman. Now, I'm not dissing Eubank for signing with PBC Al Heyman. At the time, it may have looked like it was the right thing to do or the best thing to do based upon the boxing landscape at, the, at that particular moment. But things have changed since, and in retrospect, and hindsight is always 2020, it wasn't a very good decision. Now, I don't know if he's still signed with PBC because you do get people that still have these advisory deals with Al Heyman, but yet they go sign with somebody else. Uh, although Frank Warren recently re revealed that he had to pay hundreds of thousands of pounds or dollars to buy Joe Joyce out of his, actually, no, that was out of his ring star contract, wasn't it? It wasn't out of his PBC contract. But anyway, not sure if Eubank Jr. is still involved with Al Heyman. That's an advisory deal. He's now got a promotional deal with Sauerland. Sauerland, Work closely with Eddie Hearn. There's been multiple Sauerland fighters fighting on Eddie Hearn shows over the past few years. I mean, even uh, Hergovic, right? He is promoted by Sauerland and also promoted by Eddie Hearn. Um, 
And there are loads of fighters on Eddie Hearn shows that have no matchroom con contract at all. They're exclusively promoted by other people, but they just uh, participate in fights on Eddie Hearn shows in a one-off deal kind of situation. So it's possible that you could see Eubank Jr. actually return to Eddie Hearn shows. We'll see, but under the current circumstances, there's no boxing in the UK, uh, and therefore it's going to have to be abroad somewhere, you know. It still could be an Eddie Hearn show. <laughs> the reason I keep on talking about Eddie Hearn shows is because despite the fact that Eubank and Hearn had their differences, I think they actually make sense working together. Do you understand what I'm saying? Eubank Jr. fought, I think, Spike or Sullivan on an Eddie Hearn show. And it looked like this is the perfect fit for Eubank promotionally. You know, in the UK, Eddie Hearn is the master of hype. He can <laughs> hype somebody up and talk them up to the cows come home. And he can do that with fighters that have no charisma whatsoever and don't talk much. Chris Eubank Jr., of course, is more of a showman, so it makes somebody like Eddie Hearn's job much easier. So... We'll see what happens, <laughs> but I mean, the things that Eddie Hearn has actually said about the Eubanks might be too deep, might be too offensive to the Eubanks for them to ever really forgive him or work with him in any capacity, even beyond his shows, because Eddie Hearn at one point suggested that Chris Eubanks Sr. doesn't love his son. I mean, that's a deep thing to say about a father with regards to their son. That's deep. But that's what Eddie Hearn said. He suggested, well, he asked a question in terms of Eubank Jr.'s behavior towards his son. He said, is there love there? Do you think there's love? There's really love there? And it was very suggestive of Eubank Sr. not loving his son. So when you're coming out with stuff like that, doubtful that uh, they'd work with him again, but we'll see, <laughs> you know. Boxing is a funny old game, and the Eubanks are very eccentric people, so maybe they'll surprise us all. But if it isn't Eddie Hearn shows that they're going to be fighting on, where will they be fighting? Eddie Hearn, of course, has a few middleweights slash super middleweights. Um, who do the Sourlands have? <laughs> uh, will they be looking to try and get Eubank Jr. on fights in the States? On, I don't know whose show. PBC shows, maybe. I mean, in the, in the States, you've got The Zone, obviously, with Golovkin. They've also got Jaime Munguia. They've also got uh, Demetrius Andrade. Then PBC, you've got the Charlos, uh, and so on. So, it's an interesting move. And I'll be watching to see where it goes. Hopefully, it pays off. At the end of the day, with any fighter, my wish is that they make the right decisions that allow them to make the most amount of money and make the most out of their potential. You know, that's my wish for every fighter. And Eubank Jr. has, again, I, I don't want to diss him for the decision he made, but in retrospect, this is the way it turned out. He's wasted what? A year, two years with PBC. Just pure inactivity. After he beat James DeGale, there's been nothing since. A load of talk, but nothing has happened. That's massively disappointing. And those are some of his prime years that will never get back. Eubank Jr., despite his faults, is a very exciting fighter. He's normally in very entertaining fights. So even if you don't think he's very good, surely... You enjoy watching him. He's aggressive. He makes mistakes. He's got very quick hands. And he lets those hands go. What's not to like? <laughs> um, people talk about him not really being world class. I think he is world class. But people have a very strange definition of what world class is. If you are top 10, top 15 in the world 
You're world class, right? Um, and Eubank Jr. has been hovering in and around the top 10, top 15 at middleweight and super middleweight for several years. He actually held some version of a, of a middleweight title a few years back. Remember, he beat Avni Yildirim at 168 pounds. Easily. He destroyed him. What was it? Two or three rounds he knocked him out in? Avni Yildirim gave um, Durrell, Anthony Durrell, plenty of trouble. And that's a former world champion. In fact, wasn't that for the WBC super middleweight world title? I forget now. So, Eubank Jr. has been mixing it with people who are well, who are you know fighting for world titles and so on, and he's defeating some of these people easily. It's a styles make fights thing. If you put Eubank Jr. in there against a guy who can box like Groves, like uh, Billy Joe Saunders, and so on, he's going to struggle. He's going to have issues. If you put him in there against somebody who is more aggressive, more reckless. It doesn't mean they're not world class. Just means that they have a particular style that suits Eubank Jr. much better. Again, go and look at his performance against Yildirim and compare it to Anthony Durrell's performance against Yildirim. Eubank Jr.'s performance was way better. Eubank Jr. is actually quite useful on the back foot when he's got a pressure fighter coming at him. It's when you stick a jab on him and don't pressure him and actually attempt to box him that Eubank Jr. has issues. Now, he's hooked up with Roy Jones Jr. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I don't know if Roy Jones Jr. will be able to teach him the things that he needs to learn in order to address the technical issues he has. I'm not saying Roy Jones Jr. can't. I'm saying I don't know. See, some people misunderstand when I say I don't know they for some reason interpret that as me saying he definitely can't teach him anything he did it's bizarre no I'm literally saying what I mean I don't know if Roy Jones Jr. can teach the things Eubank Jr. needs to learn I don't know the jury is still out for me I need to see more I need to see Eubank Jr. back in the ring multiple times, okay, against different styles, and then I'll be able to see whether training with Roy Jones Jr. has really helped him. Until then, I can't just assume that it's going to work out perfectly, like some people want me to for some reason. Anyway, that's my take on Eubank Jr. signing with the Sowlands. He's worked with Kala Sowland before. Kala said the Eubanks were very easy to deal with. So I guess that's why they're doing what they're doing. Um, I wonder <laughs> whether the Sowlands will change their minds about how easy the Eubanks are to deal with over the coming months, years, however long this contract lasts for. I do wonder. I'm not hoping for that, of course. But, but I do wonder. <laughs> we'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How about this move by Chris Eubank Jr. signing with Saul and Promotions? Do you think it's the right move? Do you think it's the wrong move? Where do you see him fighting? Will it be on one of the Saul and shows in Europe? Uh, will it be on a Hearn show? Will it be in America somewhere? Maybe ESPN. Does Saul and have links to them? Let me know what you think in the comments, people. If you'd like to access all my boxing content advert free and enjoy the convenience of listening via a podcast app with the option to download in high quality MP3, then consider joining me on Patreon. In addition to the aforementioned perks, you'll also gain access to exclusive weekly live stream Q&A sessions and hangouts, as well as uncensored, no holds barred uploads, which are too blue for YouTube. This includes my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. We've also got a Discord server where you can come and chat and hang out with myself and other members. Just head on over to my Patreon page and select the tier called Hatman Boxing Extra. There's no contract, there's no commitment, it's only £2.50 a month and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of hardcore boxing enthusiasts, 
by signing up with me here on Patreon today.